This is your ultimate Denver food guide. I'm going to show you 11 food spots in Denver to check out, ranging from homemade pasta to pizza to barbecue to Asian and even ice cream. So if you're wondering where to get some great eats in Denver, keep on watching. Our first stop is a fan favorite amongst Denver locals and tourists, Angelo's Taverna. They are lauded for their homemade pastas. I got the gorgonzola steak fettuccine, which was delicious. Perfect al dente with a wonderful sauce. The steak was great, and I love the healthy addition of arugula, red onions, and mushroom. We also got the pappardelle bolognese, which will satisfy your meat and cheesy desires. I would recommend this if you want a saucy pasta with just meat and cheese. Angelo's is the must of the must when it comes to the food scene in Denver. Now we're at the famous Biker Jim's Gourmet Dog. So I was really intrigued by Biker Jim's because they have really exotic meats. For example, this is the rattlesnake and rabbit. I got an ostrich dog as well, so I'm gonna review those two for you. And Anthony Bourdain has been here as well. He says it's one of his favorite things to eat. So first, let's try the rattlesnake and rabbit. So all of their dogs are served plain. If you want toppings and sauces, those do cost extra. Caramelized onion, cilantro, and this sauce is called the Drunk Pirate. Ooh. All right, so let's give the rattlesnake and rabbit dog a try. Oh man, that is so herby. Mm, it's delicious. Very gamey too. So, so far the rattlesnake and rabbit dog, really, really good. I will say, I do recommend getting a sauce with this because the hot dog itself is rather dry. The meat quality itself, awesome. And this here is the ostrich dog. This is one of their specialties. Mmm, and it smells great. It smells like barbecue. It's got a very peculiar, meaty, gamey taste to it. If you've never had ostrich before, definitely get this one. I do think that at $8 per hot dog, it is pretty steep. But if you want to try some exotic meats you've never tried before, definitely check out Biker Jim's. Blue Pan Pizza specializes in Detroit-style pizza, which is thick and square cut with a crunchy bottom crust. I got the Brooklyn Bridge, their signature pizza with ricotta cheese, pepperoni, and Italian sausage. It was freaking scrumptious. I absolutely love the ricotta cheese, and the meats were awesome. And I'm not a big fan of tomato sauce, but theirs was perfect. The crust was crunchy, and the inside was soft and doughy. I loved Blue Pan Pizza. Buckhorn Exchange is the oldest restaurant in Colorado, and it is filled with artifacts and taxidermy relating to Colorado's history and geography. I ordered two appetizers, starting with alligator tails. The breading was awesome and nice and crunchy. The only thing is it could have been meatier, but overall it was all right. And these are the famous Rocky Mountain Oysters. Did you know that these are not from the sea? These are bull testicles, and they totally cater to the tourists. If you've never eaten testicles before, it's really chewy. So give them a try if you haven't before. Even the small ones, small testicles can be delicious too. Now, I didn't order any main dishes, but I will say that the food alone is not really worth it. But I do think Buckhorn is a must visit for its historic value and cool things to check out. Fancy some fish and chips? Then head on over to GB Fish and Chips. I got the half order of cod with a side of chips. The breading on the cod was crisp and stuck so well to the fish. To be honest, the breading took center stage more so than the cod, but damn was it tasty. The chips are neutral and unflavored. I would skip it, just go for the fried fish. Next is a Mexican spot, Las Tortas. Tortas are Mexican sandwiches, and I got the Norteña and Pachuqueña. Here's a rare shot of me in glasses because this was the first place I went to after I got off the plane, so I just needed some food ASAP. The bread on this torta is lightly toasted, and the steak was awesome. The ingredients blended very well in the Norteña. The Pachuqueña comes with pork loin, breaded steak, avocado, and Mexican cheese. This one was awesome. I think I slightly prefer the Pachuqueña because of the pork loin. Las Tortas is a great option for no frills tortas, especially if you like Mexican food. Dessert before dinner. If you have a hankering for homemade ice cream, you gotta check out Little Man Ice Cream. They have ice cream, sorbets, and ice cream sandwiches. I got the Vegan Girl Scout Thin Mint. Delicious. One thing to keep in mind, their sizes are very generous. I got the single size, but I would recommend getting a kid's size because their portions are enormous. 
If you got a hankering for barbecue, check out Roaming Buffalo Barbecue. I gotta talk about the Poblano mac and cheese right quick because it was slamming. Now I love mac and cheese and it's one of those foods I just cannot resist. Their mac is not too cheesy, not too rich, and the breadcrumbs were awesome. There aren't too many poblano peppers in here, so it's not that spicy. Also got the half rack of bison ribs. Now I really enjoy a dry rub over a sloss glaze, though there are sauces on the table for you to enjoy. The bison ribs have a mild gamey taste, kind of similar to a beef rub, but a little bit gamier. Now, Colorado barbecue does not compare to Texas barbecue, but you're in Denver. So if you're looking for a place to satisfy your meat cravings, then check out Roaming Buffalo. We are at Sol Mandu in Aurora, Colorado. Mandu means dumpling in Korean, and that is exactly what we're getting today. So here at Sol Mandu, they make all of their dumplings in-house, and they have a wide variety of steamed and fried dumplings. But today, I got the Combo 4, which comes with... What does it come with? which comes with kimchi, galbi, meat, and a shrimp dumpling. Look at this. I want to say this is a meat dumpling. It is so stuffed. Tives in here are so fresh. This is awesome. All right, next I actually want to go in with the fried shrimp dumpling. Ooh, you can smell the shrimp in this. So you can see all the shrimp, all those chives, and I think this is other meat as well, but this is so good. All right, on to our third dumpling. Yep, so this is the kimchi dumpling. Again, it's so filled with kimchi, meat, and vermicelli noodles. It's not very heavy on the kimchi. Even for someone like myself who's not the biggest fan of kimchi, I think you really enjoy this. And on to our very last dumpling on the combo four. So this last one is actually the meat one. And I forgot to mention all the buns on these mandus are very soft and they're steamed so perfectly. And as an Asian food and travel vlogger, I gotta say Sol Mandu passes the Asian test. Now we're trying another Asian spot. We are at Vinsung Bakery. So I got the ham and pate bun mi. So I'm gonna give you my honest perspective as a Vietnamese person and let you know if Vinsung bun mi is any good. Okay, nice and crispy, but let's see if it's actually good. Here's a cross section of the ham and pate bun mi. You can see the pate on the bottom here. The ham is served cold, but with that said, it's not bad at all. With that said, even though it's a little bit cold, it's still a great sandwich. And I think that just shows how good of a sandwich it actually is. So Vin Sung is Vietnamese approved. The final food spot on this list is White Pie. They specialize in thin wood fire pizza. Starting off, I got the lasagna, which comes with 10 layers of pasta, bechamel cream, Parmesan cheese, and a meat bolognese sauce. The cheese in this lasagna is amazing, and the meat bolognese sauce is flavorful and not too rich. This lasagna was totally worth it. Next is the white pie, the name of this pizza. Comes with creme fraiche, garlic oil, mozzarella, cremini mushrooms, bacon, pecorino, and a runny egg. This pizza was fantastic. It was delicious. The thin crust held up very nicely. Pecorino was great. Mushrooms were delightful. And each ingredient shined on its own. The only thing to note is this pizza is best enjoyed when it's right out of the oven because if you let it cool down the flavors do diminish a bit so enjoy it right away let me know in the comments which spot looks most appetizing to you or if you found this video helpful also share this video with your friends who are in or traveling to denver like and subscribe to stay in the know with food and world travels i'm stephanie Yos, your food and travel host thanks for watching and i'll see you later